Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Halo Infinite and in this video I'm going to show you how to grab the Gun Runner achievement for taking down all three of the banished AA guns in under 20 minutes. This takes place during a campaign mission and that mission is Pelican Down. Now Halo Infinite does not have a level select which means you have to do this during your playthrough or start a completely new playthrough just to do this. 343 did say they would update the game with level select in the future, but we're not sure when. Now, from my experimentation, the timer doesn't start until you destroy the first out of the three AA guns, and then the timer ends when the mission ends. So the first thing you wanna do is grab yourself a vehicle. In my opinion, the best thing you can do is go near the bottom middle of the area, and you should find an enemy in a ghost here, which you can grapple and board. However, there should be ghosts available at some of the outposts as well. Just make sure you don't take down any of the AA guns until you have a vehicle ready. This is how we're gonna get from gun battery to gun battery as quickly as possible. So I just opened up my map and I showed you the order that I'm gonna do them in. Now there's a specific reason why I'm doing them in this order. If you're looking at the map, I'm going for the one on the right first, then I'm gonna go for the middle one and then I'm gonna go for the far one. The reason I'm doing them in this order is because there is a cliff and doing them in a different order will basically make you have to go like up a cliff or find an elevator and it ends up taking a lot longer if you do them in a different order. Now at each of the gun batteries, the way you disable them is actually different. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do in each of these. Now, obviously, the lower the difficulty you play on, the easier this achievement will be. So if you're playing on easy or normal, you can easily do it in like five minutes, even though you have 20. Heroics, that sweet spot where 20 minutes is just enough, but not too much. And then if you're playing on legendary, it can be pretty tough. Every time you get to a base, I would highly recommend leaving your ghost somewhere underneath the gun battery as we don't want it to get destroyed. And as we exit the gun battery, we'll be able to quickly jump into it. And for this first gun battery on the right hand side, what we need to do is go into the cave and interact with the button in order to activate the grav lift. However, the enemies will need to be killed for this to work. So I highly recommend grabbing some rockets and taking care of the hunters. Also, in case you're wondering, you can't actually clear all the bases and then just interact with the button at the end. In case you're wondering, every time you do leave a base, the enemies will respawn. So you can't just go and clear all the enemies off the map and then come back you actually have to kind of fight the enemies every time you come to the gun battery. But now that both of the hunters are dead, I should be able to interact with this button and activate the grav lift. I'm gonna take the grav lift up, interact with the button up there. We can skip the cutscene, and this will expose a core. Shoot the core to disable the gun battery. At this point, I believe is where your 20 minutes begins. So we're gonna be very quick to do the other two. So as soon as the coil is exposed, take it out and immediately run out of the door. If you stay in the gun battery too long, you will not succeed. It does blow up and you will die. Anyways, we're gonna jump down and then board that ghost. I told you to leave directly under the gun battery and then start going towards the next gun battery. And the one we're gonna do next is the kind of one in the middle up on the cliff as it's really easy to get to from where we just were, and it's also connected to the other gun battery we'll need to do at the end. I'll rejoin you with commentary once we get there, but pretty much just follow the main path. There's a road that leads up to it. Don't be afraid to use your ghost to take care of some of the enemies as long as your ghost stays in good condition. You can also grab a new ghost while you're here as there is often an enemy in one. But for this one, it's actually the easiest gun battery of them all. All you need to do is interact with the button. This will activate the grav lift and then you take the grav lift up, interact with the button, shoot the coil and this gun battery is as good as toast. 
And then as soon as that is done, we're going to get right back into our ghost, which we left directly underneath us. And then we're gonna start heading towards the third gun battery. We're making pretty good time here. Now the third gun battery is all the way on the left, but if you notice on the map, there is a cliff and there is a path along that cliff, which allows us to get there pretty much uninterrupted. You wanna stay up on the high ground from the second to the third gun battery. Otherwise, you end up at the bottom of a cliff and you can't climb up it with the ghost. There is an elevator which you could take, but it just takes so, so much longer to do it that way. So we're gonna take this cliffside path from gun battery two to gun battery three. Now, as we approach this last AA gun, it might be tempting to just try to grapple shot your way straight into it. And this could work. However, I found that there were a lot more enemies here that would shoot me than in the other one. So I'm going to take out the shade turret and a couple of the other enemies. But for me, the grav lift was just open. If it's not open for you, make sure you check to see if the button nearby has to be pressed but you should be able to grab lift straight into the AA gun, interact with it. I'm gonna be skipping the cutscenes to save time as I have been, and then destroy the third AA gun. Now, I'm not exactly sure when the timer ends as Xbox Live was having some issues with achievements when I filmed this. The achievement could unlock right there, or it might unlock when you reach the next checkpoint, which is actually when you'll see it unlock on my screen. So after you do the three AA guns, I'm gonna hop back in my ghost, and then I'm gonna go back to the center of the area where we kind of started the mission. And here, as soon as I reach this area, I'm not gonna spoil what happens in the story, but something pretty notable will happen in terms of gameplay. And as soon as that happens, uh, my achievement unlocked on screen. Although again, because of Xbox Live issues, it might have actually unlocked earlier. Um, but yeah, you'll see it unlocked just for proof that it does work and hopefully this video helped like the video special thanks to everyone on patreon for supporting the show and hopefully I see you soon peace